Okay, so in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to conduct uh, digital assignments with you and your students using Office 365 OneDrive. So you're going to start out by creating your assignment. Now there's two ways to do this. One way is to simply write up your assignment and post it on your website like you see here. So the students have a place to go, they can read the assignment, then they can go to their OneDrive, create the document, and turn it into you. The other way to do this uh, is to create the document yourself, and this is good for times when you want your students to start with a template. Um, for example, you may want to give them a graphic organizer to fill out or provide a series of questions for them to respond to. So the first thing you want to do is, before you create the assignment, is create a folder. And so you're going to click New here in your OneDrive. You're going to go to New Folder. And you can simply call this Assignments. This is a place to store all the assignments you create. Click Create. Now, obviously, within this folder, you can create more subfolders to organize your assignments, perhaps by unit. Now, what you'll see here off to the right is it says under Sharing Only You. So the first thing you need to do here is share it out to all of your students. Now, you do that by going to this ellipsis button and then clicking Share. Now here you could sit here and type in your students' names one by one, or you could paste in a list of names separated by semicolon. Um, or you could simply uh, type in everyone, and you're going to find a group called everyone here that you can click on. And this is essentially everyone in your institution. So this is just a way of quickly sharing it out to everyone in your institution. So you don't have to worry about, did I share it with all of my students? Um, are they going to have access? Um, this just makes it easier. But know that they're not going to receive an email automatically uh, from this uh, because you, you wouldn't obviously want to send out an email to everyone in your institution announcing this. But this just makes your life easier. Now, notice this is very important. You'll see off to the right, by default, it says Can Edit. Change this to Can View. You do not want your students editing your assignments they will be copying them to their own OneDrive. Now you can see under here, you can click Show Options, and you'll see a checkbox, Send an Email Invitation. You can uncheck that and click Share. Now what you'll see is, to the right of your folder, it now reads Shared with Everyone. Okay, now you go into the folder, and you're gonna create your assignment. Um, if you've already created it, uh, in a document, you can simply click, click Upload here and upload the document, or you can start a new one if you need to. I'll start a new Word document. Now, when you start a new document here, the first thing you'll want to do is name the file. So up here at the top, it reads uh, Document by default. We're going to click there, and we'll just call this Unit 1 Assignment, and we'll click down onto the document itself and we provide the directions. And as I said, perhaps as a template, you're going to provide questions or graphic organizer, etc. Once you're all done, you'll notice that there is a share button up here, but you do not have to share at this point because remember, we've already shared it out to everyone. So I'm simply gonna go back to my Office 365 menu. I'm gonna go back to my OneDrive so how do I alert students that this is available? Well, at this point now, in order for them to access it, we need to give them a link to the assignment. We'll click into our Assignments folder. And then, for the next to the assignment, we're going to click on the Ellipses button. And then you'll see a URL right here. Simply click it once to highlight it, right-click, and copy. Now we have the link copied to our clipboard. So at this point, we could put the link on our website. 
and they would have a link right to the document. Now, once they go to the document and they're viewing it, this is the part where they will need to copy the assignment to their own OneDrive and then they'll be able to begin editing. So what they'll see is the, the assignment will open. In order to copy this to their own OneDrive, first they're going to want to click on your name. They'll see your name here at the left. When they click on that, they're going to be viewing the documents that you have shared with them. So in this case, this student is seeing the assignment. They're going to click on the ellipses button. And then they're going to click on the second ellipses button here. And they'll see an option called move or copy. They click move or copy. And they'll be able to copy this to any folder in their OneDrive or simply place it in the main OneDrive folder. Now, you notice mine says move. That's because I own this document, so I actually have the ability to move it. The students will only see copy. So they'll simply click copy, and that will place it in their own OneDrive. At that point, they can begin working on the document and editing it. So the last step then is for them to turn it into you. So here, for example, I may be uh, I, I'm a student and I've received the document and now I've I fill it out and I'm ready to turn it in. I simply go up here to the share button and I type in my teacher's name. There's my teacher. Select the teacher and simply click share. What's great about this is you as the teacher will, will receive an email alerting you that this assignment has been turned in. Plus you'll get a link directly to the document where you can then edit. Now, another way to get to their assignments that they've turned in is to come back to your OneDrive and simply click Shared with me over here at the left. This will show you any document that's ever been shared with you. So you'll see the file name, the date it was uh, modified, and who sent it to you. So here you could scroll through and click into your, all your assignments that you've received. Another thing you can do is go up here to search and say you're looking for a specific student. I can click search the student's name, click on their name, Click down here on their files, and I will see any file that they have shared with me. Here's, here's an assignment that Patricia has done, and I can click into this. And because I was given edit access, I can edit the document. And I can edit this either in Word Desktop or Word Online. And uh, while you're editing, you can either type right on the document or you can use the insert tab and use the comment tool here and you can type in your response, the student grade, etc. right here. Okay, and that is how you can participate in digital assignments with Office 365 and OneDrive.